All right, Civil War book, puzzle number 28. He thought the country had enough of the war, but he was wrong. As always, the title is a clue, as is the center score. M is equal to 1. So wherever we see a M, excuse me, a 1, it is equal to M. All right, so let's see. I am not using a Caesar cipher or any other kind of rotational cipher where you could guess one letter and take it from there. So don't try that trick here. That will not work. This one, you're just going to have to get, use good old-fashioned deductive reasoning. And, uh, you know, sometimes you're just going to have to make an educated guess every once in a while. But you're a smart bunch of fellas and ladies. So I'm sure that we will do it. Why is there a letter here? That should not be there. I'll figure that out. Maybe an error I made in transcription. Okay, so M's. Oof, this is tough. All right. Um. Okay, I see a pattern here. M one two three four. Thirteen fourteen and three. So I think there's a high degree of probability that 3 is going to be E. All right, so let's go ahead and find all the 3s. And replace them. Yeah, I think that's a very high degree of probability on that E. On that. Three being E. Alright. Any others? Okay. Now, anytime you see a letter sitting alone, what letter is that? I guarantee you it's either going to be A or I. Um... It is not a quote. I don't see quotation marks. I generally don't use first person in my um, in my puzzles. So therefore, I believe that six is going to be a. This is more than likely and. Could be. It's not R because we know E is uh, already. All right. Um, I'm going to do capital letters. Oops. Reason being so that I could easily discern that I'm still working on those. Okay, let's get all the sixes first and then we'll come back. Definitely and. All right, uh, let's see. So ends are nines. So we'll go ahead and go through here and do the nines. I guess we can decapitalize those two.
and then 12s are D. Delightful. Guarantee it too is E. All right, and going back to twos. Oh, no. Why did I sit? I think six was E. I am betting that two is indeed. Yeah, that's the. So I screwed that up. So I got to go back through here and uh, fix all those threes. Which means that I made a wrong presumption. Two is E. Yeah, that's definitely the two is E. Five is O, and seven is S. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. I am. I am really, really, really off on this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Seven is T. Five is I.
All right, so 10 is R, we believe.
All right, there we go. The introduction of the mini ball slug and easy to use paper cartridges made the average rifle much deadlier with a much faster reload time and a greater accuracy at longer ranges than before. Uh, the clue here is that uh, the inventor of the ball um, thought that it was going to render uh, conflict obsolete, uh, much in the same way that Alfred Nobel, the inventor of TNT, thought that uh, dynamite was going to make warfare obsolete because everyone could blow each other up. And how'd that work out for him? Not so great. So, anyways, uh, there's today's puzzle. He thought the country had enough of, of war, but he was wrong. And the introduction of the mini ball slug and easy to use paper cartridges made the average rifle much deadlier with a much faster reload time and a greater accuracy at longer ranges than before. All right, that's today's puzzle. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. What is CryptoGo? CryptoGo is a hybrid of Sudoku and cryptograms. Cryptograms using numbers instead of letters, Sudoku's using letters instead of numbers. You solve one or both puzzles to get your answer. As you can see, the Sudoku, I have not attempted the grid, but if you want to, you most certainly could. You just need to take the letters and put the corresponding numbers in there in order to complete your grids. All right, look forward to seeing you on the next one.